Hi everyone, welcome to Simple Living Wise Thinking and in today's video again I will be sharing with you a very simple veg lunch menu which you can make under 30 minutes and this meal is perfect for any summer days. So the things that I am gonna make is I am gonna make a sweet and sour arhar dal which is also known as stuar dal. So I have soaked this dal for around 2 hours and now I will pressure cook this dal with some tomatoes and I have only taken half tomatoes and I will write everything down in the description box below so that you all can go and have a look and then I will add around one bowl of water and pressure cook it you can add the water according to like how much thick or how much thin you want and once the dal is done now at this stage I will add tamarind pulp so that I can make this dal little bit of sour so I have added little bit of tamarind pulp now this you can add according to your taste and in the dal I will add around one teaspoon of chili powder this also you can do according to your taste about how like more spice you want and little bit of turmeric powder and then I will mix everything well and some salt to taste now in a pan I am roasting dry roasting little bit of peanut so once the peanut is done I will just crush the peanut in this pestle and I, I won't make it fully plain I will just make small small chunks of it now for the tarka I will add some curry leaves some red chili powder and one teaspoon of mustard seeds so when the oil is hot I will add the mustard seeds the curry leaves and the red chili and if you want you can add little bit of green chili also at this stage and then I will add the dal and mix everything very well and then I will add the crushed peanut and keep it on a simmer for around 5 minutes and then I will add 2 teaspoon of jaggery now this is the jaggery powder and this will bring the main taste the sweetness and I'm adding 2 teaspoon but you can add according to your taste and then you yeah, mix it well and see my dal is ready and this is very tasty just have it 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 brings like it is super tasty and it looks very good with rice or roti now the next thing I will make is this broad bean sabzi now this sabzi is very easily available in the Indian store so I will show you how to cut this broad bean so you have to cut little bit from the edge and take out the tails of it I'm sorry if I can't explain it's very easy just like this the strips will come off See the strips came off so I will do the entire the entire process and then I will chop it you can chop according to how much big or small you want and then when the oil is hot I will give around one teaspoon of jeera seeds and I will give around 1 teaspoon of hing and I will write everything down in the description box below so that you all can go and have a look and then I will add the tomatoes and mix it well and mix until the tomatoes are soft so once the tomatoes are soft and cooked at that stage I will add the broad beans now these broad beans are very fresh but sometimes the broad beans don't get boiled so easily so in that case you can like microwave it around for five minutes then I will add some salt to it according to your taste 
then I will add some turmeric powder some chili powder this chili powder you can add how much you want to it how much spice you want and I will add one tablespoon or uh, one teaspoon of coriander powder and then I will mix everything and cover it with a lid so after some time I took off the lid and again I will mix it well because we don't as I'm making it a dry sabzi we don't want to it to get burned and if you want you can add some green chilies also in that stage and then I will just yeah see it is done see it is so soft so my this sabzi is ready so in this stage I will add a little bit of anardana powder so I will add around 1 8 teaspoon of anardana powder not much little bit and then mix it well and my broad bean sabzi is ready and this also looks so tasty with roti or rice and it is very simple I didn't give any ginger garlic nothing and to go along with it I will fry the small poppers because my daughter she loves this popper so this is how I have prepared a very simple lunch menu within 30 minutes and these recipes are very tasty and they are perfect for the summer I will say it if you can have it with rice or you can have it with roti they taste good equally with both of them so if you all have liked my video please 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 to subscribe to my channel please hit the like button and please comment down below if any one of you have made this recipes please comment down below that's it everyone for today bye